This is my favourite manual wind watch. This is my favourite pilot watch. This is my favourite Hamilton. Hamilton, you have done it once again. You have stolen my heart. This is our latest release. This is the Hamilton Khaki Aviation Pilot Pioneer Mechanical 43mm. Hey watch fam, it's Phil here at the Loom Room. Let's take a look at this brand new watch from Hamilton. So this is only my second watch I've purchased from Hamilton and I've got to say as soon as I unboxed this I knew that this was my favourite. It was love at first sight. I had seen all the, the pressers for it, I had seen it being advertised, uh, seen it on their website in person. This thing is uh, utterly, utterly stunning. Quite a big fella at 43mm, but don't let that scare you away. Uh, this is a pilot watch, so they are built to be slightly larger. It's quite a, a slim case because it does have the manual wind or mechanical movement inside. I guess we should start at the top and that being, well, technically that would be the sapphire crystal. I was going to start with the dial, but let's mention the sapphire crystal. Now, I originally thought that this would be a, a flat sapphire. If you take a look at the side profile, you can see that there is actually a dome to this crystal. Uh, so that will give you a little bit of distortion. I'm not sure if that's double domed, it's perhaps double domed, uh, but it does give a lovely look to the watch. The only thing is, with a, a, a domed sapphire crystal on the front, you will notice that if you're taking your pictures for your Instagram, uh, or if you're doing filming like myself, then it does tend to pick up all the reflections, everything around it, because it is quite spherical. They have actually added AR treatment now that was one of my big gripes about the Hamilton Murph. I did do a video on that, I will leave a link in the description or go just find it on my channel. There is also a sapphire crystal on the back of the watch, it's an exhibition case back and that shows you the gorgeous mechanical manual wind movement. I am going to save that for a little bit later on in the video, I won't, I won't spoil this surprise quite yet so stay tuned and we will get to that in a little bit. The dial on this one is a black dial, it's not a jet black, it's more like a, a vintage black or personally I would call that a charcoal and if we look closely you will also see that there is a texture to it, it's almost like a, a grain effect. The other markers on this one are those large Arabics, those are tritium inspired Fotina Arabics which are very legible uh, which is handy when you're flying around in your Lancaster bomber. I think they work very well for these vintage inspired pilots watches. Hamilton went with the cathedral style hands which I think was the perfect choice. If you look at that minute hand it has got that longer sort of syringe tip which reaches all the way out to that minute railroad track and then just at the 6 o'clock we can see the small sub dial uh, that is giving you the seconds there. We can chat about the bezel now, which is a bit of a funny one. Uh, let me explain. Okay, so this is a 48 click unidirectional bezel, uh, which to me screams, you know, GMT watch, maybe a GMT hand. Certainly uh, 24 hour GMT markings going around the bezel. But as you can see, this has more got the, the dive style uh, timings going around it in 15 minute increments. I mean, perhaps there's something I'm missing. Um, if you do know the reason behind this, then please do leave a comment down below. I do sometimes rely on you guys to educate me just as much as I show you these watches, review them, etc. So I would love to hear your thoughts on that. With that all aside, this is a fantastic feeling bezel. Great feedback from it. Very clicky, very positive, quite snappy, quite crunchy, and it lines up just perfectly with that 12 o'clock position. I wouldn't expect anything less from Hamilton, to be honest. The markings going around the bezel are printed, I believe, and then it's capped with a mineral crystal. And kind of reminds me of the, the Blancpain watches of yesteryear. I'm thinking 50 fathoms, anyone? Moving on to the crown, which is situated at the 3 o'clock position, we can see that this is satin finished with a high polish H or Hamilton logo in the dead centre there. This is no shrinking violet, no, this is an oversized 
big pilot crown which works with this watch perfectly. There is position 1 which allows you to manually wind the movement, I'll give you a little listen. Lots of grip there as well, you can see that I'm using uh, gloves for this one and I have no trouble at all winding that which is great especially if you're a pilot. And then there is also position 2 and if I pull the crown out there you will see that the seconds hand doesn't hack but this allows you to move the hands and set the time as you see fit. It's not often that I get excited about straps on watches, especially straps that come as standard on most watches because usually they're pretty basic, especially leather ones, but I must say this strap here is an absolute dream. Straight out of the watch uh, box that comes, it's very supple, it's very soft leather, uh, so you won't need to change this at all. And again, you've got the double stitching there. Bravo Hamilton, because this is a treat. Now to my favourite part of the Pilot Pioneer, and that is the case back. Just absolutely stunning craftsmanship. Uh, this is what you're seeing here is the movement which is part of the ETA family. This is the 6498-1. So beats away at 18,800 vibrations per hour. Should give you about 53 hours of power reserve. Comes equipped with 17 joules, some of which you can see dotted about there. And this is essentially a pocket watch movement uh, which has been modified to fit your wristwatch. It's always fantastic when you get to see the balance wheel working away, keeping everything in check. The finishing and brushing on this is of a superior standard. I certainly couldn't find any imperfections. And then you've got your screws up the top there and on the side. Personally, I probably would have preferred if they were blued or heat treated. It's just me nitpicking, it's a personal preference, uh, but overall I think this is gorgeous. I will be doing a loom shot so that you get to see what this looks like in the dark. Before that, I have got the calipers with me today so we can do some measurements. I guess for completeness we can look at the swing tag. This is the actual reference of the watch, H76719530, and if we flip that over you will see that the little plastic part has Hamilton on it, and then GBP or British Pounds £1080, that is the RRP. The watch is definitely worth that, but do look about, you're more than likely to get a discount, albeit this is a new watch. I would probably expect 10%. You know, do speak to your authorised bricks and mortar dealer. They should be able to cut you a deal. If you are shopping online, most of these websites, if you sign up to their newsletter, they usually give you 10%. So do have a look. There's the watch on my six and three quarter inch wrist and I've got to say it is very comfortable. You would think for a 43mm watch that it would be uh, perhaps have some hot spots but I can say it doesn't. Perhaps because it's such a flat watch you can see there down the barrel shot uh, so it does fit snug to the wrist. It's certainly not a small watch, you will notice it, you will feel it uh, but that is the whole point in having a larger pilot's watch I would say. But yeah, I just love it. Feels fantastic. Looks fantastic. Well, there you have it. There wasn't much more I was wanting to say about this one. As you could probably tell by the review that I've given, <laughs> I absolutely adore this piece. I have fallen in love with it. I think it's great. I think there's something incredibly romantic about these old vintage, you know, 
pilot style aviation watches especially with the the manual wind it feels like a pocket watch on your wrist it's very well executed please leave any questions or comments down below as per usual i've been phil at the loom room that has been the hamilton khaki aviation pilot pioneer mechanical 43 millimeter thanks for checking in Do you like the, the Hamilton? Do you like the pilot's watch, Mitch? Or do you just want your lunch? Right, okay. Let's not destroy the place. Come on. Let's get you some biscuits. <laughs>